Hi guys, it's Claris, and today we are going to do a quick um, demo slash tutorial on uh, continuing with simple florals using simple strokes or simple florals being created by simple strokes. And um, this is a follow-up video to the roses video that I did earlier this week. So if you haven't caught this one yet, I suggest you go and check it out. Um, this was uh, a, a cool enough, I guess, demonstration on the difference between using a mop brush and a regular brush for creating roses. And we're going to use, uh, we're going to piggyback off this and create another video on doing more florals. And again, it's to show you guys the difference uh, in um, results and also for you to try it out, hopes that you will be encouraged to try it out and then figure out uh, what version you really like and kind of run with that. So hope you like this video. Okay, so the focus of this video is not so much the kind of colors we're using because I'm going to be just using the leftover colors in my palette and um, the focus is more on the effects we can achieve by using our brushes to create some simple florals uh, and also kind of get you guys used to um, using these techniques so you can get better at it. So uh, I have my mop brush in the one and then I'm going to use the silver black velvet in the four this time as opposed to the eight because it'll give me smaller florals and this way we're not getting two massively huge blooms. Uh, and then I'm just going to keep the Escada number two handy on the side for leaves if I am inspired to do them. So I have my water, I have some color here, so I think we are ready to start. And I'm just going to start off by wetting the brush. And then getting some color and we're gonna do um, I'm not gonna give these flowers any names but uh, I guess they could be like any of the fuller flowers they could be uh, peonies or uh, any of the blooms that are big in that manner uh, there's lots of different variations of roses as well that are kind of like that so we're, we're tackling those florals here all right, so I have this consistency here uh, where it is quite diluted because of the water and less color. So we're going to start off with this first. And so I'm just going to start off by creating the um, inner petals, so to speak, so getting some color. And I'm just using, I'm going to create an organic shape using this brush and I'm just spreading out fanning out the brush uh, the brush on here and getting like this oval shaped kind of petal and then I'm going to get more and dip the tip in water and I'm going to create another one leaving some white space but I'm moving the color and the water around to create like a larger petal and I'm pushing all the excess water and color down to the bottom here and making it slightly tapered. All right, and now once I have this, I'm gonna dip the tip in water again because now I'm gonna do my um, floral petal at the top here, again, leaving white space. I want this shape to end up being, once I have all these pieces together, you can think of this like a puzzle and you have all these pieces that make something. Uh, so I want it to be like an oval circular shape. So now I'm gonna do another piece just like this here to kind of form the back petals that are in the background to this and I'm moving all the color down and I, the reason I keep dipping in water and then going back is because I want the as we go and create more I want the um, I want the petals to be lighter in color so you see how now I'm adding the side petals. I'm kind of going to go ahead and create another petal here and then another one here to kind of close up this end. And I'm just adding slight little strokes here and there to kind of show petals in the background that might not be as prominent. And now I'm getting some more color because I want to do the petals that are out or falling outward this way. So 
I'm going to leave a lot of white space here and then I'm going to add dot there and then just spread out. And then again getting some water, I'm going to start from here and spread out. And notice how it's like very loose strokes that I'm adding. And then again I'm going to do another one here. And it's literally just the flick of a wrist, of your wrist, and you're kind of getting this shape. And I'm not even like closing the ends up that well, kind of leaving it open-ended, but I want to move all the color down to this, to the top of these petals, because this is where dominant color will be, with the petals falling out. Now again, I'm getting some water, and I'm just going to add a couple of strokes around, because I want this to be like nice full floral right and this is our loose floral using this brush now you can also kind of get some darker hues happening in here and this is only if your areas are still damp so I'm just going to try and get more color of this purple more of this purple color and then just kind of add some strokes not strokes but like dots in the uh, in the areas here and then just maybe add some at the bottom too and it gives you a nice enough hue of like light and dark uh, and again this is if you are feeling uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, adventurous and if you are comfortable enough to do this if you're just starting out and you just want to get the idea of how to create these then I wouldn't suggest doing these right away. Just hold off until you get your technique down before you kind of go in and add additional layers like this. Uh, of course, there's nothing wrong with experimenting, so like experiment to your heart's content uh, if that is what you want to do. So I'm just adding a couple of highlights if you are observing to see how this kind of goes. And it just adds a little additional umph to the whole floral and that's it like we have our nice loose bloom we don't need to do anything else you can add a couple of strokes here just to kind of give it a little more of that inner bit and then you are done so we have this so that was using the mop brush now we're going to use we're going to create something similar using the um the regular round silver black velvet four Okay, so for this next floral, we'll have it going kind of this way, and maybe slightly upward, and we're doing the exact same thing that we've done here, all right? Uh, so I'm getting, using number four, I'm getting some, I mixed in some carmin with my purple, and I am just going to create the same thing. So first stroke down, then I'm getting some water on the tip of my brush, I'm creating another stroke just the side of it, getting more water, creating just a slight hint of a stroke there. And now this is going to be our bigger close-in to this bloom, the inner portion of the bloom. And I'm pushing all the color downward. And then I'm going to get some more water on the tip and then add the top closing up back petals to this. And I'm going to create another one here. Remember, it's supposed to be like form that nice round shape. So you can kind of get the hint that this is a flower. And I'm just adding some backward light petals, pushing all the color downward. Then I'm going to get some of the water here and add my first petal coming outward. And I want to push all the color down to the center because these are the outer petals now. And then I'll do another one over here. And closing that up to make this like a nice big petal, adding more water to kind of soften as I go out. And you can always take your paper towel and just dab away all the excess water and that's fine. I'm going to get some more and do a third one just here like a hint of this happening there and then I'm just going to get a little bit of color on the tip of the brush and just add it 
at the bottom of these areas here while it is damp so that it can kind of seep in and give you that nice effect. And then I'm adding some to the center too, which is what we didn't do here, but you can absolutely do that and it gives you that nice effect. Uh, and then I want to get back to getting the looser, tinier strokes around it. So I'm just going to, I washed off most of the color and I'm just adding a couple of strokes around. So it looks like it's like fanning out almost. And then I'm just adding a couple of strokes at the bottom. Just like this. So this could be one of those florals that are like really bloomed and opened up. And yeah, so once again, you've got like this nice, pretty little bloom with some of the hints happening and flowing in nicely. And uh, yeah, so this is how, these are the two different versions. As you can see, I added extra layers to make this just as big as the mop brush one. So it could have been a lot smaller if I didn't add the extra layer at the top, but this is what it would typically look like. And uh, so practice these and uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think of this, how it worked out for you, what you liked, what you didn't like. Um, I think for future, I'll definitely enhance more and focus more on we've done the base layer how can we do like a top layer and enhance the look of the floral not to say anything is wrong with how it looks as it is right now but if you just want to enhance the look and give it um two-dimensional make it pop out more although this is quite dreamy and nice as is as well so thanks so much for watching guys uh please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and feel free to share this in all your social media channels um, as it really does help my uh, channel grow as well. So thanks so much and we'll chat soon. Bye!